Paddy, under 19 captain, how are you, well? Yeah, good, thanks. Good of you to join us today in HQ, I believe you got a bit of fitness testing tonight. Yeah, we've got, um, going on tour tomorrow, so we've got pre-season fitness testing tonight, um, see how we're getting on since the last day, just before Christmas, so see how the boys are getting on. How was the, the pre-Christmas run over, was it? Yeah, it was good, it was good, I think it was improvements from sort of September, so you're just always looking to improve and do better and just, yeah, get ourselves in a better shape to play cricket. Yeah, yeah. So the tour over the next couple of weeks is going to be quite intense for you guys, is it? How many games have you got going on? Yeah, we've got seven games, um, but we've got a squad of 17 going, so that's quite good because it means that everyone's going to get sort of four or five games, lots of opportunities to play and train and, I mean, there'll be time off for the guys, but be able to work hard and have time off in the gym and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's a busy itinerary, but we've got the sort of squad and the resources to, to deal with that, and hopefully it should be a good trip. Have you been out to South Africa before yourself? Um, yeah, I've been a couple of times. I went when we were under 15. We went as a Scotland squad, and then um, the year that I was on the performance programme as well, I spent a couple of months out there um, in Peter Maritzburg. Uh, it's a great country, a great place to play cricket, and I'm looking forward to going back. Yeah, I can imagine it'll be a good bit warmer than it is in, uh, in Scotland at the yeah. moment. <laughs> um, so, I mean, from what, what are you guys looking to get out of this, this trip, really? Um, well, I think as much as anything, like a lot of the cricket we've played in our qualifiers has been in Ireland and has been in this country, so the conditions in South Africa are probably more like what we're going to find when we go to, out to Australia for the World Cup. So I think we're looking to just um, get accustomed to those kind of conditions, maybe adapt our game plan slightly to fit those conditions and also just to play and train as a squad for two weeks because obviously there's a lot of guys in a lot of different places now um, doing a lot of different things with their cricket so every opportunity we get to come together as a squad is a good thing and it will be good to help us prepare for August. Yeah. Um, do you know sort of what kind of opposition you're, you're going to face out there, what standards? Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we'll be playing sort of local state teams and academy teams and things like that. Um, so I think the standard of team will be good. I mean, there's a lot of good cricketers out there in these places, and that we, I'm sure the teams we play against will be will be able to test ourselves and see how far we've come and see how far we've still got to come as well. Yeah, uh, you did of course win the the World Cup qualifying phase, so well done for that. Um, the team sort of squad and. As a whole, it seems quite a, a close knit unit sort of thing. You looking forward to another tour away with the lads? Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, especially as I say, because we haven't seen the boys maybe since since January time. So it's good to be get back with the boys and sort of play cricket together now for three or four years. So I mean, we've got a good team spirit, and that's been key to our success up to now. And I think definitely as the conditions get tougher and as the oppositions get tougher, that's going to be really important for us as a team moving forward. Is that we kind of stick together and work hard together and just keep enjoying each other's company and each other's success and if we do that then we've got a sort of really good chance for a successful year. Yeah, I know a few of the lads have been sort of travelling over the world during the off season. Have you done any, any travelling yourself? Uh, not this year, no, I've just been down at uni, so training hard in the indoor centre down there. Um, so yeah, unfortunately just, just in England. You're, you're in Cam uh, Cambridge. Yeah. Um, I take it the standard, the standard of cricket sort of down there is Good high standard, good competitive level that you're training at? Yeah, I mean, uni cricket down there is good. Sort of the MCCU system is a good system, and we've got a strong squad, which means that we've got a lot of people sort of working hard in the nets and training hard together and pushing each other all the time. Um, and there's a few other guys at different MCCU centres around the country, and it's definitely a good way to train sort of alongside your studies. It's a good setup, and it's something that I think has been a benefit to me and the other guys that are part of it. Yeah, and you yourself, your studies, how? How far are you through there? I'm um, in my second year of a three-year course, so about halfway. Oh, and after that, what's the, what, what's the plan? Um, I don't really know at the moment, to be honest. Um, come back up here and sort of try and play as much cricket as possible, try and push sort of into the Lions and then hopefully into the national squad, just see how far that comes. Um, and yeah, just get on with my life and see what happens. Great, great. Uh, you're, a, you're a keen tweeter. Uh, we've been sort of following a few of the boys today and... Uh, on Twitter and making their journey up here. It's, uh, it's been very well behaved tweets, I must say. They're, they're, they're a well trained bunch of lads. Yeah, I think some of it's been a bit dull. Um, it normally is. They try to be sort of like the England team and whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, I'm sure that'll carry on as the tour goes on. I'm sure you hear all about sort of 
how much water people have been drinking and what they're down <laughs> for their dinner and things like that. So keep posted for that. Yes, well, I was going to sort of, Craig asked me to have a wee chat to the lads today about social media use, but I don't think I need to. Maybe just tell them to make it a bit more interesting. Yeah, maybe a few jokes here or there, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for that, Paddy. Cheers. Um, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you when you get back and we'll look forward to hearing from you. Cheers, thank you. Good.